Hello fellow Star Wars fans. This is David at Red Wagon Dios. Just giving you a quick video today about how I made this custom built Star Wars Krikna Spider. Uh, this is a scratch build that I made a few weeks ago. I actually built it for the Star Wars Rebels figures uh, in the Star Wars uh, Black Series six inch line. Uh, I love those episodes with the spiders in it. I just thought it'd be really cool to have a creature like that on my shelf. So I'd seen the Galaxy's Edge spider. They sell down at the parks in Florida. I had a guy down in Florida pick this up for me and bring it, ship it up to me. So I use this as a reference point to build this guy. You can see that the Galaxy's Edge toy is about five inches tall. This guy is about 11 inches tall. Uh, it was a real treat, of course, seeing him show up in the uh, Mandalorian episode 10 a couple weeks ago. Uh, just really cool. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. It's basically, you know, some of the techniques and the ways I went around building it and uh, anyway enjoy please uh, like the video subscribe and uh, thanks for watching bye All right, guys, it's Friday morning before work. I'm gonna do a little bit of touch up on my Krikna spider I've been working on here for the last week or so. I'm using my favorite material, Fast and Final Lightweight Spackling by DAP to uh, smooth out the body on this guy. And you can see, basically I already worked over the main body with the 
spackle here last night, let it dry. It's still a little soft, so it's getting grooves in here from the sitting in place. But it's very soft. I'll end up uh, get to touch this up some more. But right today, I'm going to fill in these little gaps and cracks here around the sculpt on the head. Uh, this is all so far as just hot glue that I painted white. Uh, these are wooden beads for the eyes that are set in hot glue. Uh, this is two little wires with hot glue over them, and this is some uh, plastic sheet that I bent to make a beak. So, anyway, you can see some of the pink foam sticking through from the middle part there, but I'm going to dab on some of this spackle filler in here, wet it down a lot with water, and then hopefully as it settles and dries it'll kind of create a smooth texture over all these bumpy areas that the hot glue left so i'm just trying to try to smooth it out like you can see how this is smoothed out here that's from the the spackle i put on last night so it kind of fills in all the gaps around the hot glue and this is my first time doing this by the way so i'm just kind of making it up as i go along here but it seems to be working pretty well Putting some spackle down here in the anywhere where there's kind of a, a gap that doesn't look natural where the hot glue had some voids. So you're on these arms. These little like shoulder socket joints things are just uh, pieces of PVC pipe. One inch, I think one inch. PVC pipe that I just got from the home improvement store and cut them down and then glued them on here with hot glue and then ran hot glue around them to build up the socket like that. And you can see I'm modeling this after the, the toy spider. You can see that guy. Galaxy's Edge. This was purchased by a guy down in Florida who sent it up to me who went to Galaxy's Edge and uh, picked it up. I'm just using it for reference material. So as I'm sculpting mine, this has been the way I've kind of kept things into proportion. And I've tried to scale it up from this guy um, just a little bit over, well, about two times scale. A little bigger than that, but I worked off these legs. These legs obviously were from a, a um, spider skeleton toy from Target uh, that I cut up. This is what's left of it. I used the legs here and uh, I sliced all the leg, the knee joints so I could put a piece of wire in there. I don't know if you can see the wire, but there's a wire in there with hot glue. So these are actually articulated. So when I go to pose this guy, I can actually move these legs around and um, they are wired in here too, but the sockets basically stop the movement there, but they should have some movement both at, at those two joints All right, so that's good on the spackle And now I'm going to start with the brush with water and all I have here is just a just a little container of water and just a regular kind of a larger paintbrush nothing special here but I'm gonna get it really wet and then I'm just gonna start dabbing away here and uh, I found with this material that it becomes kind of too messy really quick if you get too much water on but you definitely got to get some water going to get it to move and flow and smooth out so it's kind of a trial and error balance of how wet you get it but right now I'm just pushing the plaster into those gaps around the eyes and brushing it to smooth it out and when I'm done I'll, I'll put this I'll just set this thing like this rest it upside down and let it dry the next uh, eight, nine hours or so while I'm at work and come back and hopefully it'll look nice and smooth.
This brush is a little too big for this detail work. I might go to another I'll go to another brush. I was using this brush on the body uh, yesterday and it worked really good. But that's a larger area. It doesn't have all these nooks and crannies. I want this guy to look scary with a big large menacing uh, beak here. I was thinking about when I first saw the episode of Star Wars Rebels with these spiders, I was just kind of captivated by it. I mean, those things are freaky looking. Um, I don't know if you've seen that episode, but they kind of just come right out of the ground. The, the bodies look like they're little hills part of the landscape, but it's the spiders buried in the sand, and they just pop up and start attacking and then start swarming because there's a ton of them. So I just thought that was a cool scene from Rebels and when I saw this spider that they had at Galaxy's Edge, I was like, I want to get one of those. And then I realized how small it was. I was like, well, I want to get a bigger one of those. And they don't make a bigger one of those. So I guess I will make a bigger one of those. That looks pretty good right now. You can see that in the light there. the beak. The beak was hard to do by the way. Figuring out plastic that would that would bend but not break. See how soft this plaster is because just from me holding it during this painting it's created this smudge here. So I'm gonna have to fix that later. The spackle is very soft. It's just meant for filling in nail heads and stuff and wood trim so i don't know there's probably other materials that are out there i know there's clay and there's you know plaster sculpt and everything but i like this it was just lightweight i didn't want this thing to be too heavy and it i'd worked with it before so i thought i'd try it here and there you have it crickness spider i'm gonna leave this guy here let him sit here today and dry. Then I'll have to come back tomorrow and flip him over and do this area again. It's all messed up from my hands. 